Gamer Dude 2088, and we're back for another episode of First Impressions. This time, we're on Skylanders Ring of Heroes. And, uh, it just had its global release and everything, and it's a game made by Come To Us, so that's pretty cool. So it brings me back to like my Summoner's War roots, and for you guys that may have been Summoner's War players, uh, definitely will hit home with a lot of the mechanics and the way the game plays and everything so let's look at a few things you know this is your basic little area layout you got little buildings you can buy just like in summoners word that gives you like little gold and energy and things of that nature it's pretty cool the the way the the ui is set up and everything it's not too cluttered not a bunch of things on the screen popping up a bit up million menus or anything like that pretty easy to nav navigate for the most part so let's click on our skylanders because that's what it's all about is the little uh skylanders we got and you know for doing the pre-order was able to get spyro because that's like the only skylander i really even know about because i come from the spire of the dragon days back in the days before skylanders um uh, and then you get a free Four, five star when you do it's, uh, it's like a little summoning event they got and you pretty much do you summon for your little gems or whatever I think it's cost if there is it I'm not sure where it's at on the screen it's in the summon summon area that's where it's at alright yeah this little thing right here the premium the whole, ultra premium you do that three times and there's only one time you do it three times and you get a free five star and you're going to pretty much get the the gems to be able to do it so that's not going to be a problem you get your free five star um i guess according to the tier list which you know i don't care about none of that garbage uh i got one of the top tier units but i mean reading the skills itself just says a lot to me so that means something regardless of what anybody say um so, you know, you got your basic little setup, little stats and everything. It's a little different the way this game is versus uh, uh, Sum uh, Summoner's World or other gacha games for that matter. Um, where you have your attack and defense, your HP is pretty much self-exclamatory. Your endurance is actually uh, something different where, like, you can be where you damage certain certain um enemies or skylanders have like attacks that can damage your endurance that will cause you to be knocked down in battle which uh could be really devastating if that happens so it's like you can't do anything until they get out of that state which uh it's kind of cool when you do it to the enemy but not so cool when it happens to you because if something's low on health you're just like no please get up finish the enemy up but yeah that's kind of cool your crit rate, crit damage, basic stuff, accuracy, and then you have an evasion stat because you don't really have a speed stat in this game or where well, they have, like, I guess some innate speed because it's, it's, uh, the game is run off of ATB and if you play Final Fantasy, ATB means active time battle, which is, they're always going, like, even if you don't choose an attack, the enemy's always going to attack kind of, kind of thing. And then you got your, uh, effect accuracy which is the accuracy in which you need to land debuffs and then your effect resistance which is the opposite to resist the debuffs your block rate which is like uh extra defense on top of your defense so it's like how much damage you can resist and then your block damage it as well as something like that i have to look at it some more because i don't want to give you bad information but that's what i believe that's what it's supposed to be something like something like that from uh from what uh, from what i uh, was told i haven't read too much of it yet but uh but i just been kind of grinding like crazy but uh the gear that you're using here are pretty much the same thing as some of these world rooms you got your little six your little six uh spots for it but it's uh set up a little bit different i'm not sure exactly all your one three and five i believe are still the same where you know attack 
defense, HP, but it's a little different on the two, four, and six. I don't remember all of what's on each one, so I'm not even going to bother to say anything about that because I don't know. I don't know. So maybe in another video or somebody else that might be able to explain that. But, you know, you got your standard evolutions and power-ups to get your Skylander stronger. But let's get let's get out of here. Let's get out of here because I'm taking up way too much time going through all of this. Let's get into some battling type of stuff. See what, what it looks like when you fight. We're going to go to the adventure. Something that's probably not going to poop on me. We do this one. Um... Uh, are we up to normal on here that's what i've been doing is like far farming the earlier stage like the first area gives you the a uh, hp sets or health or whatever it's called in this game which uh is kind of what you need in these kind of games when you start off is to build your units sort of tanky so they can survive going through the game until you're able to really make dps do what it's supposed to do so uh so this is my team setup. You get three guys. They have, I guess, like two basic skills. Let's go to the edit of the party. Two basic skills that they have. Some of them have extra skills. You can swap out some skills uh, for others, depending on what you might need for the battle. Then you have two spectators that also get experience. Not as much experience, but they just get experience. So it's like you can farm experience for other units that you may be using want to build do something with later as you're using your main team then you get a companion which is like an enemy type of unit that comes that comes in here and there to have some kind of supportive way ways of helping you so that's pretty cool i really like that aspect of the game let's check it out so after we go ahead and go through this battle we're gonna do a little bit of the pvp which is practically the same thing you do got your auto functions which is up here your times two you can go into normal speed or boost it into times two this is your auto button so if you don't want to do auto you can always just set up the uh skills now the way the skills work in here is is like you have this mana gauge which it tells you right here how much mana it costs to use the skills and then they go on cooldown for a certain amount of a certain amount of seconds rather than turns since you are in active battle right here is where it shows your turn order of who's gonna go next in in the rotation then you have your your extra little guy I forgot what it was called already but the extra one that kind of supports you and they go on cooldown as well uh, after a certain certain point then you also have here where you can do targeting sometimes you can uh, set it to lower like just focus bosses focus the mobs folk, things like that so that's pretty cool though i think that's really interesting that they uh implemented that they implemented that you know like right away because you know a lot of games don't have that especially gotchas and it's like something that's really needed like as soon as you start the game you should be able to get right into autoplay for people that's veterans at this kind of game um they didn't explain it as uh, further as like the basic tutorial for the game go. So that one thing I don't like, I, I didn't like because like for people that's new to the games, they wouldn't, they might not know because Gotcha Games is always getting new players. And you definitely want the people, the new players that you get into your games to know what's going on. I mean, you can always come to people like me, you know, content creators, and we explain these things, but be nice if they can explain things themselves a little better i mean it's great i get to make content but be nice if they did so we're gonna take on somebody i'm not sure if i'm gonna win lose draw whatever we're just gonna take on first person we click on just to see what happens all right i tried to do arena one time and manual and i, I got it stuck in my pooper really bad and it, it was terrible so i just like threw it back on auto because it's like this game since everything is active I'm, and it's been such a long time since i played a game where you just have active time or where you just gotta actually choose the skills i wouldn't even know how to uh, wouldn't even know how to respond or act in in a game like this i guess it'd take some time for me to really sit and do it but that's pretty much the pvp just simple stuff nothing too nothing too special 
I could go in depth into explaining all the bitter details and everything like that, but we already took time and just going into Skylanders and explaining explaining that stuff, so that was enough in its own. Well, that's your typical stuff. You do got these challenges. You have your Mirage Tower, which we definitely gonna have some videos coming out about that stuff because that's your trials. That's your trials right there. You know that TOA? Yeah, that's what this is right here. Or TOT for my MMEG players. You know, Abyss for the people from Epic Seven. All depends on what game you're playing. You know, I love that trial stuff. So that's like my that, my style right there. I haven't touched it yet, but. I'm definitely ready to, or getting there, ready to sink my teeth into it. But that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. It's not that much to it. I mean, I can explain more things if that's if that's what people may want, you know, in another video. But it's just my basic rundown. I think overall they did a great job. A lot of the mistakes they made in the beginning, first couple years, I say first two and a half, maybe even three years of uh, Summoner's War, they definitely corrected and Skylanders. They, I think they spent so much worried about that that they failed in other areas, but it's not that significant that it's too bad. Uh, please come to us. Give me a function to lock my rooms. I'm the guy that will have this OP room and mistakenly destroy it, sell it, or something like that because it isn't locked. I want to be able to lock my rooms, lock my characters, so I don't make mistakes. That's 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 probably my biggest pet peeve with this game. Other than that, the minor things aren't that much for me to worry about or for anybody else to worry about. But I hope you enjoy. This is the Gamer Dude sign and out. If you do like, then hit the like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. So you can get more good content coming from me. And deuces.